Twilight Sparkle, Red Sky, A True Love by Switch Down. Ever since Twilight became a princess and had her own castle, she has been feeling much lately alone. Even her friends had noticed that, and they often asked her if she wanted to date some stallion. But, but Twilight still has much still hasn't got used to be a princess and to be living in a castle. But most of her friends had tried to put up her for a blind date with one stallion. Mostly locals or not from <clears throat> Candelot or even Manhattan. But Twilight often said, no thanks, no thanks, no. At the moment, Twilight was not in machine for dating. She still hasn't even get used to be a prince of friendship. She has still just tried to get used to that and even tried to get used to living in a castle. After losing the library, that was since that was her home in her since her she moved to Pony. But after that she is slowly getting used to be the princess and living in a castle. Her friends had often tried to get her into a blind date even she didn't want to date any pony now. But it happens that even Celestia had noticed that Twilight hasn't been seeing any pony in particular. Even Luna had asked Twilight why she hasn't even seen any particular pony yet. But Twilight has said that she isn't much in for dating at the moment. She's still trying to get used to want to be a princess and living by a new castle. And even she wants to find her true love someday, but not at, not at the moment. At the same time, in Pony, there was another pony that has been living there for at least a few years. A pegasi by the name Red Sky. Red Sky was originally from, originally from Cloudsdale, and since she lost her parents at age 18, that was very hard for her. She was very close to both her parents, but with something that else that Red Sky hasn't told many others that she was actually into mares. Her parents know about it and they were supported. But they just wanted to her to find her special love someday and she wanted to help. She wanted to find her true love and introduce her to her parents someday. But now when her parents are gone, that would be hard. And she only had two other relatives alive. A brother and a sister. But the brother lives in Manhattan and the sister lives in Saddle Arabia. Her sister is only two years younger, but her brother is only one year older. She is very close to both of them. She writes letters to them and even sending them gifts on their birthday and hearts warm eve every year. But over the past two years she haven't seen her sisters or brother since they are both focused with their own lives in their particular home and one day she got a letter from her brother telling her that he is going over and he hopes to find to see that her sis his sister has find her special song for me. In fact, Red Sky has even read, had even said to any pony that she hasn't found her special pony, so special song pony yet. But all the time, her brother had often introduced some of his friends in from Manhattan or Trottingham 
or even some other places in Equestria to her, old mares. But she always said no things. Even that they lived so far, did she didn't mind if they lived several miles or even across Equestria from her. It is just that she didn't feel any connection. She always had told her brother and her sister that she wanted to feel any connection with that little pony first before you were considering to dating him. Of course, Red Sky had been thinking about blind dating, speed dating, and she tried that little things a few times, but seems much and much luck. But there was just one pony that she actually had a massive interest in. And that was actually Princess Twilight Sparkle, but she hasn't even mentioned that to any pony or even her brother and sister. Because she was afraid how they would react and telling her that since Twilight is a princess, she wouldn't have any particular idea or even an, a chance against her because she's royal and Red Sky is not a ro royal or noble pony. But Red Sky would mind didn't wouldn't care if she doesn't even have belonged to a noble family or a royal family at all. As long as love is love. But she just had hope to tell Twilight how she feels for her. But in fact she didn't. But one day, something, all of this, happened to alter the course. Red Sky and Twilight were good friends. And one day while she was in the, at the park, just talking to herself, suddenly she heard a voice. And that was actually Twilight. Red Sky had been talking about her true feelings for Twilight, and what she didn't know, that Twilight was actually above her, flying around, and heard every word from Red Sky, and she was very surprised. But before even Twilight had any chance to say something, Red Sky flew off before Twilight could say any word. Twilight just stood there at the park, surprised and mostly stunned. She tried to find Red Sky, but no luck. Red Sky had actually left Ponyville fast. She was actually a fast flyer, not as fast as Rainbow, but fast enough. Luckily for Twilight, she didn't know much about Red Sky's hiding places. Red Sky remained there, in one of particular her favorite spot to hide for almost the rest of the day. She tried to go back to her apartment during the night. She thought that Twilight were in castle by the time. But it turns out, Twilight had actually been waiting outside. Red Sky's apartment the whole time. Red Sky noticed Twilight, but uh, she tried to escape, but it was too late. Twilight didn't notice Red Sky, and before Red Sky had any chance to fly off again, she was stopped. Twilight used her magic and stopped. Red Sky from ever to flying off. She tried to talk to Red Sky, but she was too nervous to even say a word. But she managed to calm down, and both of them went into Twilight Red Sky's apartment, and they both spent at least about almost two hours to be talking. Since Red Sky. Then admitted to her true feelings for Twilight, who was actually the old truth. But she also said that 
her friends, and Twana's friends has said to her that since she is not noble or royal, she would have any chance with Twala. Twala was surprised to hearing that. Of all her friends, she couldn't even believe that Red Sky's friend and her own friends has said Red Sky would never have any chance with him. Even when some other noble ponies in front of Cantaloupe have been saying about Twilight, she will now only be been should considered only to dating noble or royal ponies, not other dogs who is below the noble class on his side. That took her even more as to the shock, because in for Twilight. She doesn't care of any class order. She would date any pony, even if there's a farmer or a scientist or a teacher. And for her, the class doesn't have any meaning at all. She's trying to forgive past those old class society predicaments. She then asked Red Sky if she wanted to perhaps go out with her. Red Sky was not even prepared for you know, that kind of question. But she couldn't speak. She was speechless. All she did was nod it as a yes. And the next day, Red Sky and Twilight went out to a local restaurant. And most of her friends saw them there, so they uh, thought that they were just having some lunch. But after that, they found out. Red Sky and Twilight weren't a date. Soon, that news spread across the entire Ponyville, and soon it reached Cantaloupe. And it didn't take much long time before noble society there was outraged. Seeing Twilight, a princess of royal blood, dating a no-class pony. Sonora was actually demanded Twilight for an answer why she's dating a no-class pony that has no royal or noble blood line at all. But Twilight said she doesn't even care about this kind of class system that they use. That system is outdated or should be removed. That shocked all the noble ponies in question. Even she explained that the reason to Celestia Luna and this system is outdated. How they should not force any pony to dating any other ones that, especially if, if especially that Red Sky was noble, she would only be dating other nobles or Twilight them. Or that Twilight should only dating other royal or noble class high status ponies. And both Celestia and Luna agreed. That system is just ridiculous and mostly outdated. So they decided to end that kind of system forever. The noble society took it very hard. But they all had to soon agree and realize that system has been used for centuries. So Twilight and Red Sky still didn't hear when other nobles only said that they are, are a shame to the noble society of ponies or even their particular status. But Twilight, she didn't care. As long as she's happy with Red Sky, she's happy. Her friends, they didn't even care either about this kind of system. They only been saying that Twilight should, should have been dating some other ponies. They thought that Twilight would date, or that she would focus on dating a noble or a, a royal pony. That means they didn't actually, they didn't expect exactly expect her to dating. Red Sky, not because they're against the entire idea. 
they were used with surprise. Because they actually thought that she was going to Twilight were going to focus within the noble society. But even Rarity, she was even not that surprised. Even she wanted to date or marry one of those high stats noble noble ponies. But in the risk of her damage and friendships with her friends would not be worth it. And all of that 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 she had to stop being friends with the other noble po not her old friends in order to be able to be accepted in open society, she didn't care she didn't care. And Red Sky in Twilight's British relationship has grown strong. After they've been together for nearly about well, two months, Twilight took with her to introduce her to her parents. Red Sky, she was so nervous all the time. She thought that they would not accept her as part of the family. But they did. Shining Armor and Cadence and Fairy Heart, all of them was actually very happy. Over the past few years, Red Sky and Twilight remain strong. They never had any problem with their, their relationship at all. And after nearly five years being together, Red Sky actually proposed to Twilight. Twilight and Red Sky did actually get married in Candelot about two months later. And they celebrated their honeymoon in Crystal Empire for two weeks. And then, something they didn't expect to happen. Within the next three years, Red Sky and Twilight have been talking about starting a family, which they did. Twilight decided to be pregnant first, and she had a daughter. And the next one was actually Red Sky, and she had twin sons. And they were actually not expecting to have twins. But they were happy to have at least a family together of their own. And that's how Red Sky, Twilight Sparkle, and the True Love, but the family, the end.